my first guest is actually the founder. All right, so he's the one who started this show. Um, how many years ago was that? Ten years. Ten. Yeah. Good God. All right, so ten years ago, James Matt had this idea of this show. And it was something that had never been seen before on Kenyan TV. And he pitched it and pitched it and took a really, really long time before it actually got on air. And then you did it for, I think, about two years, yes, right? Yes, yes. And then Larry Madoa took over. And then now, <laughs> the first lady. <laughs> <laughs> I am here, but I am really humbled that you're here. So honored to have you on your own show. <laughs> it's very confusing. I think I should be the host. You should and, be. And I, and I should, you know, ask Please, people, like, yeah, me, where's, ask my me your where's my camera? Where's my camera? It's this, this one. This yeah, good evening everyone and welcome to The Trend Live. My name is James Smart. Tonight <laughs> on this go. program. Uh -huh. Hey, what's yeah. going on? We're going to feature this Vargas chick. Now, it's been 10 years, like you said. Yeah. Has the show done you proud? Is it still what you sort of like envisioned it to be? Do you know, uh, I saw Mark call me the grandfather of the show. And I'm like, <laughs> look, you see, see, the thing about this program was that people forget that Fridays there was, no, there was nothing on television. It was movies on Fridays. And then we felt that, come on, you have to keep something for young people, that people need a space that is not too serious and also not too, you know, out on the left. And so then we pitched this show. Uh, and the whole idea was give young people something and a space to talk and communicate and have fun. I mean, right now there's loads of stuff. We never had a band, so I'm a bit jealous there's a band. <laughs> uh, you know, we have a fantastic studio. You know, we were in a green studio then. Uh, but what you guys have done is you have grown with the times, mm -hmm. you have made it relevant for the audience and for the young people. Like we showed up on Twitter when I said I come in the show and everyone was jumping on it. So like, yay, on that time, you know, so those guys are for that time. And this show is for the present, for the young people. And you guys have done very well. Um, so I'm proud of you. Thank I, you so I, much. I, I don't think I can fit on this show anymore. It really, you feel like now you've, you're the actual... No, I feel I'm like you... are the grandfather of no, this show, so I, I cannot still feel like, this. No, I still feel like there are bits and pieces where, you know, you definitely fit in. There's so many... You, your, I think, advice and counsel on the show would be invaluable, you know, given the kind of research that you do for all of the different things that yeah, you, you yeah. know, you're involved in. So we would definitely need you. Now that you're here, <laughs> I'll be able to ask you a few questions, you know, here and there. But you've always been a disruptor of sorts, you know. You never want to do the norm you always try to change things and be different and even as I followed your journey you know you every time you'd sort of like take a break come back you'd always come back with such fresh different content that people had never seen before well thank you thank you say that um, I personally think that in this business we should try and you know push it at far you know scale the heights mm -hmm. um, and then hold the door for other people to come through uh, I think it will be a mistake for me to continue hosting this show and, you know, holding on it, you know, 10 years later, it shows no growth, perhaps. I could be good at it, but it shows no growth. Um, so I think my personal view is my personal view that there should be a way that all of us should progress. We should start new things. We should challenge, you know, uh, the status quo, uh, make this space a big, better, bigger and better for the next people that come through. Look, if I'd said in this show for 10 years, then you won't be here. Very you know, true. Yeah, uh, um, Larry would have, you know, checked in here and, you know, gone to do the things that he's doing. So I think that all of us should have, uh, you know, have these opportunities and it's, you know, uh, life and chance happens to everyone. Mm. Um, take your chances and, you know, take more chances as you go forward, you know, and, and fall forward, mm. if you like, and as it, opposed to falling backwards. That's true. And you're yeah. taking another chance right now. You're back yes. at Nation. Yes, yes, but you're yes. Doing something we're very back. Different. We're back. Um, and we're taking another chance. Mm -hmm. And this is in the audio. Uh, what we have realized, part of my passion is I think that storytelling um, is something that is very intimate. And we should find other ways to introduce the Kenyan market to the audio business. You know, tell stories uh, in audio. You know, people are doing fantastic podcasts on, you know, on lifestyle, on mental health, on careers, on how to, you know, live life on parenting, you know, dating. There's so many that's happening mm -hmm. that the traditional setup of, you know, you have your TV or, you know, reading it online doesn't fit anymore. And even radio as it were, you know, because there's this intimacy with right now with online and, you know, you're putting things on your earphone and that sort of thing. So my job right now is to help Nation Media Group and ourselves and in our journalism and our business to help us, all of us, to try and chart this new path, which is the audio path. Yeah. Uh, I think the trend should have, you know, an audio version of it. 
I'm, I'm happy to pitch it for you, you know, yeah, next time and how, you know, that would look like and how that set. It would be a different format, but I think, you know, it is valid. And you know what I like about it as someone who did radio for a really long time? Does that... Yeah you're liberated, like yeah. uh, there are no rules, so to speak, yeah, you yeah. know, and you forge your own path. And I like that because radio is very, you know, static. It's this set. is how you're supposed yes. to present and yeah. it's cast in yeah. stone almost. And I feel like podcast just gives you that freedom. You have a link. Um, you need to do a link. You can't be too long. You can't, you know, say certain things. You have to play music and that sort of thing. Um, in podcast, you know, uh, there's, there are no rules. The, the only rule is be interesting, you know, catch, capture us tell a fantastic story. There are so many formats out there that I feel that as, you know, in the country, you know, we have not, you know, even ventured, you know, a quarter of the formats, you know. Uh, everyone, you know, talks to me and my mate, which is brilliant, you know, four of us, you know, talking about sports, talking about, you know, life, that's brilliant. Uh, these fantastic monologues that are happening. The people who are telling, you know, brilliant you know, stories about this country and about us and about the challenges and opportunities. And, and we should find ways on how to use audio as a way for us to grow, a way for us to, you know, navigate things that are difficult. You know, there are things that, for instance, um, if you talk about mental health, for instance, it, it's a difficult problem that how in radio setup and in TV setup, it's difficult for us to, you know, to set, to sort it out. Um, it's almost like we need to give ourselves a chance to breathe, all right? And, and television sometimes, you know, it's too fast-paced. We, we cannot, you know, have someone who's struggling with mental health or the issues that we have to do as a country, as a community, as a people. But there are people who are doing, you know, 20, 30 minutes of just reflection of this isn't just me and mental health. You yeah. know, this is the thing that I struggled with. And this is my friend and this is someone else who got in touch and whatever it is, we should be streaming those voices because it helps all of us to, to deal with problems that our traditional media setup is sort of unable to. Mm -hmm. And you know the other thing, um, as I was, you're right, there's so many and I'm so happy that we have a number of them talking specifically about yeah. mental health. I feel yeah. like that's a topic that needs to be discussed time and time again. Um, which are the ones that you're consuming, your top three? Okay, so definitely I have to start with, you know, the mics are open, uh, Calvin and, and G. They're brilliant, they've done it for a long time. Uh, and I like this, just how it's, it's a safe space and an open space. You know, and I think because they are pioneers in a way, you should give them a special mention. And the same thing about podcasting is, uh, we have, you know, it's people have to keep listening to, you know, each other. So I love what they do. Um, I li I also listen to Ole and his uh, Low. It's called Ole Low. It's it's amazing and it's brilliant and I love it. And then there's you know um, a new one that just showed up, uh, Silentoi, you know, uh, talking about BB and politics. A young girl talking about politics, and I love that. And this is just me. And there's plenty of things. I mean, I like listening to you know the mental health questions. You know, I'm definitely looking out there for stories. You know, people are dealing with stories, uh, you know, about social life and not really hard news. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like this has really just changed and leveled the playing field. Yeah. Back in the day, you had to know someone or you had to have connections or you had to, yeah. you know, really yeah, work yeah, yeah. through yeah. the trenches to get your name out there and get that position in radio. But now with podcasts, you just have to have a voice, have a mic and a story to tell. And there you go. All right. So we still have James Smart. He's going to be talking to us right after the break on what we need to do if we're trying to get into this podcasting field. Plus, can you make money or not? All that coming up right after the break. We've got more right here on The Trend. You're watching NTV. And welcome back. You're watching The Trend. Amina Abdirabha and James Smart, my co-host this evening. James, we should do a show together. Maybe what, what another podcast. What, what should we call it? We'll come up with a name. The name is not the problem. The yeah. name is not the problem. I mean, as long as you probably will have a band and you know, <laughs> all these things happening. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll bring the boring side. You'll, are you, are you bring the serious <laughs> side? The serious bring side. The boring you mean. side. All right, so we're talking all about podcasts, and I see a lot of questions coming in through our pages. That's uh, at the Trend Live and mine as well. At Amina Abdi Rabah with that hashtag. Hey, Amina, maswali zina kujia na zina kujia migi sana. Osoro watu na lizani ni. Mbiyamono, Amina. Yeah. Mbiyamono, kama kawaita watu pare nyumbani ni kuengage na maswali. Now, of course, tuko apa na milk sake. Ana kwenye hashtag ya mina na ulesa Ulisa James Matt Kama they need voices for the podcast And if yes, proceed Chani gani, James Matt yo ni yako one on one Amina, kwasa tukiendere anga Haya, jibu sali Okay, so the first thing that we, we want to do is 
as National Media Group, is help podcasters to expand this uh, market. So from next week, week after next, we'll be curating some of these podcasts, um, you know, and put it up on our platform, uh, put, you know, you on our television, on our radio, on our newspaper, so that you have more voices to listen to you. So the first thing I would say is, uh, if you have a podcast, or start a podcast if you haven't, start something, right, and let us know. Let me know specifically. Twitter, Facebook, email, um, let us know what you're doing, uh, and then, you know, we can get that. Obviously, the question of voices and that sort of thing uh, happens all the time. When we are creating new podcasts, we'll let you know uh, if you specifically just want to uh, do a voiceover for us or that sort of thing. Ah, okay. So there you go. Opportunity. I like how they said, who's water now? <laughs> Between who and who? Is this really, this can't even be a competition. So you just know it's you, James. Just accept. It's fine. It's fine. I can't. I, can't. I, I, I can't accept yes. this. Really? Why? It's the boss lady. Oh, uh, thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, if, what if, a kind gentleman. <laughs> Raised right. Raised right. Um, but listen, we need to talk about your podcast yeah. that's coming up. You said you have a number of them coming up. Um, and before we do that now, as we get started with our weekend, you want to enjoy a nice, smooth drink. Will you have to pick up um, Jameson maybe tomorrow as you go to the supermarket? Maybe if you're going to order it online, make sure that you are over the age of 18. So please make sure that you're over the age of of 18 excessive consumption of al uh, alcohol is harmful to your health it is very important for me to tell you that all right the smooth taste of james and jamie baby irish whiskey all right so get a, um, uh, a chance to enjoy that this weekend now we're talking about case number zero james martin yeah. what is that about so seven years ago um a journalist and blogger called bogon kobosire disappeared without a trace he woke up one day and then vanished uh then his friends tried to find out what happened to him a uh, month later, months later, but they didn't amount to much. Uh, that story has been, you know, sort of like a dark cloud hanging on to, I think, the consciousness of many bloggers and many journalists because this is someone who was very well known. This is someone who worked with half of the Kenyan journalists today, not just in the newsroom, but in management, um, went to school with them and grew up with them. So if he can disappear without a trace, like he can wake up one day and disappear, and we have absolutely no logic and no answers to what happened, then there's a problem. And so uh, with my producer, Vinchon Chogu, uh, for five years, uh, we've been doing interviews, uh, talking to everyone and anyone, friends, colleagues, who knows anything, who doesn't, you know, just try and bring all these thoughts together and provide sort of like a reasoned thought on what happened to this person and raise questions, valid questions of what happened to this man. And so that's the story. It's called case number zero uh, for the same reason that this case was never opened. Um, nothing has ever happened to it seven years later. Uh, and we have dead ends in the story. Uh, we have fascinating revelations in the story. We are allowing people to feel the characters um, and so make your own judgment. We're not making judgments in the podcast. So we, everyone who is either quote unquote culpable, anyone who knew something um, and talked to us, we had not, you know, here to provide, uh, you know, uh, anyone with, you know, guilt, you know, or absolve anyone. It's just, these are the people who knew this is the timeline. And perhaps, you know, if this country, you know, has, a system that works in the office of say the DPP for instance then you open an inquiry and you know talk to these people so that they tell you what happened and we have resources to find out what happened to him that's government for us it's just yeah. to raise to the consciousness of everyone mm -hmm. and, and say it is absolutely wrong and it's terribly horrifying it that is. someone can disappear without a trace especially someone who's as influential someone who's already yeah. known someone who did have his own connections this is this isn't just anybody you know so it really it, it scared a lot of people and not only just bloggers but just in general i think the media fraternity was shook yeah. Yeah. and now we're going to the eighth year and now you're saying that you've been hitting so many dead ends and i want to listen to the podcast so that i can find out i know you can't tell us everything yeah. but you, that's you know one of those and i'm so happy that that's what you picked to talk about because mm -hmm. so many of us had questions many of us were scared to ask and you don't even know where to get the answers you know what I mean yeah so now people can listen to that which platform how do they do it where do they go um, so that they can listen to that and also the other ones that are coming up plus your vision for this podcast division that we have now great so on our fantastic nation of Africa mm -hmm. uh, we have expanded the space and what we want to do is make sure that uh, you're able not just to read our stories 
uh, watch our videos, but also listen to the podcast. So on, on Nation.Africa, we have a subset called the Nation Audio. So all you need to do is go to Nation Audio. It's very simple. It's just an email address. It's free. You'd listen, um, updated every Thursday. Uh, right now we are on episode seven. Um, so last episode comes up next week with a bonus episode this week. Um, then, you know, everything is available for you to listen at your own time. The thing about audio is, unlike video, video demands all your time, you know. So if you have a phone, you have to stop, you know, and watch it. You can do this when you're driving. You can do this when you're working. You can do this when you're absolutely doing anything else. So that is going on. Um, what happens after that is we're going to curate seven uh, different podcasts from, you know, other podcasts that either you'd know or you might not have listened to them. Um, and ranging from lifestyle, uh, all the way to parenting, uh, to hard news, you know, relationship issues and that sort of thing. And every single day on Nation.Africa, we will highlight one of these uh, podcasters, uh, give an opportunity to listen to them um, so that, you know, we try and our contribution to the industry. Uh, our interest, my interest and the national media interest is to grow this industry, the podcast industry, and allow what we do in our safe spaces as friends, as, you know, small ideas, um, to allow the business end to make sense. All right. So we want our audiences on Nation Dot Africa uh, to listen to your podcast. And that's why we are curating this content, and we'll do as much as possible to, you know, sort of highlight and mainstream, mm -hmm. you know, other podcasts. Yeah. Uh, as we produce, you know, independently our own. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited! As someone who quit her radio job so that she could join this podcast thing that people didn't understand. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so, so excited. So Nation.Africa, that's where you need to go. We have a small clip. I think it's, of course, to tease your upcoming podcast, as I wish you all the best with that. Thank you so much for coming through to the show, James Smart. This is not the last time, though. I mean, right. now you're here. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, 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 I'm here. I'm going to join the bunch. Uh, so <laughs> okay. there's no getting rid of me hey, anymore. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much for the love. Thank, thank you all you. very much for the love uh, on Twitter and Facebook and whatever it is. So let's keep it... Um, and you do a fantastic job. Thank I'm so you. proud of you. Thank you for saying that for yeah. all of the people who are like, please come back on the show. <laughs> Thank you so no, much. No, no. She's an amazing host. She's Thank doing you. the perfect job. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So from the granddaddy of the show, the grandfather, Babayao, the original.